starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming. Hi! Welcome to Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. I'm Mel and thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm just going to give you an update on how I've got on this week with my corset making practice. And you can see by my lovely um, lady here next to me, um, I've made my first toile at a made to fit corset and some bits have worked out okay, some bits haven't and that, that's what I'll share with you. Um, so, in relation to resources I've been using, hopefully you've seen the video that I shared last week where I explained that I'm using a couple of different resources to learn pattern drafting and um, like I'd really like to know how to make more gowns like red carpet type gowns. So um, I've also been using the Corset Academy um, to help me understand more about how to, how to progress with that. In this last week, I've watched video after video after video after video over on the Corset Academy and um, I've, been, I've had some ups and downs. So loads of super information on there and the lady that creates the videos and creates the patterns, she's clearly an expert at what she does. There's so many useful tips about what types of patterns you should use for what designs, how to make sure a good fit, etc, etc. Um, but I think I found it perhaps a bit too much at this stage and I've not really understood the true basics of corsets and how they work so I've perhaps tried to run before I can walk I think is what I was set what, what I'm trying to say um, however I wanted to share with you what I've done so far because it has worked but then what I'm doing to take a step back and learn the basics as well so over on the corset academy you're provided with patterns um, and you're also provided with a software um, where you can put in the measurements that you're looking to make and it will tell you how you need to adjust the pattern. So these are the pattern pieces for this one that I've got here. So it's a two curve, sorry, a four curve corset. So I've got the front, centre front, um, which is this panel here. That is the next panel. Then joined to that is that panel and then I've got the two at the back. What you do is take the relevant measurements and then you put it into the software and this is what you end up with. So you can see these are the original, these are the measurements, these are the original dimensions of the pattern. These are my measurements or the measurements I took for my dress form and then it tells you here how you need to adjust the pattern, whether you need to come in or out. So here you can see, for example, on the centre front, the bust middle, I needed to take that in, um, reduce it by half an inch. You can see here um, from the front side seam, I needed to reduce it by a millimetre. Um, the back side seam, I needed to extend out by 1.9 centimetres, etc, etc. Um, so that is how you do the software. Then what you do is alter the pattern pieces accordingly. So for example, on this one, um, I chopped off the 0.5 centimetres down the centre front, but I also needed to extend it out a little bit at the bottom there. And this one, you can see it much better if I can just find which one it was. So this one where I had to kind of come out by 1.9 centimetres, you can see that's the original line of the pattern and that is how I extended it out. And I think looking at this, um, the fit has turned out really, really um, well at the front. I'm really pleased with this. And the thing with a corset on a dress form is corsets are really made for a human body because the idea of them is it, it squishes against a, a, a squishy human body where, of course, on a dress form, there's no give. And um, so it's, it's difficult to get the sizing just right. What I'm not sure on is the back. So if I just spin around. So... I'm not sure if I've got the measurements right at the back. Now, there is supposed to be a gap from, from what I can gather um, at the back here because that's where the lacing goes. Um, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to go as big as, as it should there. 
um, and also it, it seems like I've kind of got some excess fabric here on these princess seams so as I say I'm not sure whether it's because the lacing would go there so when it's laced up it would pull differently or whether I've gone wrong somewhere with my measurements so what I will be doing is contacting the lady over on the Corset Academy and share some pictures with her and get some feedback on um, whether that's how it should look at the back or whether um, something's gone wrong somewhere. But on the positive side, really, really happy with the fit on the front. And this has got no boning in or anything like that yet. This, this is purely just the panels stitched together. Um, so what I'm doing to kind of take a step back, I want to say thank you to Maggie um, who commented on last week's video. She shared that she'd recently purchased a kit from So Curvy. So I've headed over to So Curvy's website and saw that she'd got an ebook on there which kind of goes into the very basic starts at the very beginning about how a corset works. Um, so I've got that ebook. Um, I'm going to just give you a little bit of an overview in a minute so you can see what's in there um, and I'm only part way through reading it but what I thought is if I start at the beginning and then I think I will get much more out of the Corset Academy um, tutorials um, I think I just need that little bit more knowledge because otherwise I'm going to keep getting kind of frustrated if things don't don't work out. There's also some challenges with the Corset Academy because it is filmed in Russian and then it is um, translated with English speaking over the top um, and sometimes there may be some translation issues um, but I've, I've emailed with a couple of queries so far and I've always got a response kind of within 24 hours or so um, so I've got no problems from a support point of view. So let me just um, show you the So Curvy ebook, just a high level overview of it. Before I show you the So Curvy ebook, I thought I'd show you some of the inspiration ideas that I've saved over on Pinterest. So you've got a, a kind of an idea of what I'll be aiming for once I've learned all the basics. So you can see here these first three are some uh, lovely examples of corsets that have then been hand embellished so for example this one um, this is um, from somebody on Etsy but it's got a beautiful hand embroidery so I thought that'd be a great idea and um, you can get really arty and um, do some real slow sewing. This is another example from Etsy of hand embroidery but this time it's kind of got um, embroidered patches sewn onto it and this one has got some, what I think are kind of handmade flowers from ribbons and silks. And then looking at some ideas on dresses. So here is a corset style top with a tall skirt. Then that's a Dior one. Um, oh no, Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, but I really like the shape and style of that. You've got examples like this where they're embellished with really pretty flowers. Another example. Here's another one where you've got some beautiful embroidery on a straight dress style, straight skirt style dress with um, a corseted top. Yeah, so that's it. So that's the kind of ideas um, that I've got in mind on what I would like to make once I've learned all the basics. So let me now show you the So Curvy book. That's okay, so this is the ebook from So Curvy. Um, so it's a fully interactive book. So, for example, um, if you want to go to something specific, you can click on the contents table and it'll take you directly to um, the section that you want to go to. Um, but what I like about this is it goes through um, the history of a corset, so what's the purpose of them, etc, etc. Um, and then it goes through kind of the tools that you need, the hardware, how you build the framework, what type of fabric you, sh you should use and um, some 
um, tutorials on working with the fabric. It then goes into the sewing technique, so the different types of seams. Um, you've then got some of the um, underpinning, so taking the right measurements, making a twirl, that type of thing. And it then goes into um, a couple of full step-by-step -step tutorials on how to make a corset. So I'll just skip through, but what you've also got embedded in the book is videos as well. So for example, here you can see the introduction. If I click on that, the video will play. So in some of the areas of the tutorial... It's really great because you can watch a video on what's trying to be explained. So I will just skip through. I won't show all of it. Um, but here you've got your tools. Um, these are the, uh, uh, telling you about the busks. The different types of hardware, so the bones. It then goes in building the initial framework putting in the eyelets and then this is um, some information about the fabric which I found really useful because I think um, if you want to do it properly you need to use the right type of fabric for making a corset so that was really useful although quite difficult to get there's not many people selling corset material And then I just want to skip to the end where you can see the tutorials. This is kind of how to do the fitting. So once you've made your twirl, what you need to do to ensure a good fit, whether you need to take it in or whether you need to expand it out. And then here's the step-by-step -step elements on how to make a corset like I say with a couple of different variations depending on how many layers of fabric that you're using so that's it so as you can see loads of useful information in there and I think I may even purchase one of the kits the same um, as uh, Maggie did um, so that I know they've got all the right materials and all the right um, kind of hardware and things like that so it may be a little bit um, pricey buying it all in one go but I really want to get this right and I'm having such a good time learning something new um, so yeah that's it I just wanted to bring you up to date with how I was getting on with the corset making next attempt is trying to get one to fit me the reason why I've decided to do it on the um, dress form first of all is I'd need somebody else to help me with the measurement so I'd have to um, get the hubby or one of my daughters involved with taking my measurements to make it on my own but I just wanted to have a play and understand how all the different pieces work together. I'm really happy with this front fit. So that's it if you've got any hints and tips about corset making or if you've got any good books that you can share, any good YouTube videos or any um, uh, resources then um, please let me know in the comments because I am on a knowledge hunt at the moment for corset making. So that's it, have a wonderful week and I will see you very soon. Bye. All my dreams are humming.